totally gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maku 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. Quo Parks, anyways. <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. we gotta find him first. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. That definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Albender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katafian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Now listen closely. Ancient Katafian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow as I lead the melody. Thought we could use it if we ever need to hide our identity during a job or something. First of all, a Glarnot mask ain't no identity. Glarnot? They're that gang from the Planet of the Rain's Emeralds or something, right? Or am I confusing them? It's diamonds. Oh, yeah. And B, there's only two jobs I've ever needed a mask. The time me and Groot knocked over a top-secret lab. Really? Oh, yeah. The other time is when I borrowed a Glarnot mask and accidentally stole Groot from the Collector. How'd you accidentally steal Groot? You have to understand, Quill. I was on the run back then. The war was still raging strong, and then Kree scientists weren't exactly happy I left Halfworld. I had to keep a low profile. By robbing the Collector? I was broke! And no offense, but the way the Collector plasters his face all over nowhere like he owns the place... He doesn't own the place. Someone had to knock him off his stupid flarkin' pedestal! Ah, the fact that I was drunk when I did it just makes it funnier. Is there a, a bounty out for you that I should know about? Relax! Anyways, 
I lifted one of them stupid Glarnod masks from some passed out jerk at Mantlos, stumbled my way to the Collector's Emporium, put on the mask, flashed some shiny rocks I found, and when his assistant's back was turned, I punked him on the head. <laughs> oh, you're unbelievable. <laughs> I know. It was gravy after that. Once I was sure he was out, I started cleaning out the place. Woke up the next morning on a stolen transport with a bag of loot and Groot. Uh, of course, he was just a baby back then. Barely taller than a weed. Aww, baby Groot. I knew right then and there that I had to take care of him. A cage ain't no place for guys like us. We've been partners in crime ever since. That, I believe. Eh, believe what you want, Quill. Truth is truth. When did you guys rob a secret lab? Eh, it was before we came after you. This Signog named Wheeler reached out to me and group. Wanted us to steal a bioweapon from some research lab in Arago 7. Piece of cake for a crack team like me and Groot. <laughs> wait, wait, and Groot wore a mask for this? <laughs> Man, you should have seen him, Quill. Bark naked except for the stupid mask of Thanos. It was flarkin' hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That was until we realized the Eggheads on Arago actually hired Wheeler to get us there. Uh, six out of ten times it's a trap. Yep. Turns out they wanted to study us. My implants, Groot's regeneration, super valuable to the right bidder. By the time I realized what was up, they'd got Groot. Locked him in a frickin' cage, Quill. Like an... like an animal. Ugh, that's terrible. Yep. Well, joke's on them. We weren't about to be turned into science experiments anytime soon. So, I went with plan B. One explosive charge later, and ba-boom, we were home free. <laughs> and the bioweapon? Sold it back to Wheeler for triple the price. Nice. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Those were the days. I'll just put this back. Hey, Drax, Groot thinks you should wear a jacket or something. It looked pretty snowy outside. I do not wish to cover my ritual markings. I must bear my skin to the elements. Relax, Rocket. He's got thick skin. And a very warm inner core. Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Finally found a way out of this mess, Cammy. All thanks to you. The Milano isn't gonna self-destruct or anything while we're gone, right? How many times do I gotta tell you? The ship probably ain't equipped with self-destruct systems. I knew this day would come. I was destined to battle the Dragon Lord of Kakaranthara. Bet you didn't think you'd be fighting him with this team of a-holes. I did not. I am thankful fate has granted me this honor. We're gonna pull this off. I know it. Of course. We have to. For Nikki. All good, buddy? I am Groot. Despite your best efforts, you are an honorable man, Peter Quill. Thanks, Drax. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit which is cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me? Or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fing Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Maybe Hellbender will go for it. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no Foom Foom. We should look for Catastrophe. Oh! The legends of raining fire are true. Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death! Well, as long as it's glorious!
anybody else hearing a high-pitched whine? I just heard it. Not my voice. I mean from the Milano. Watch out! We did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Mach 4, like so many of my people before us. Someone remind Drax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. So in this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? Uh, maybe, but definitely not before that. All right, Drax, let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. Ah, I shall pretend that is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, galaxy. You have nothing to fear. They say that his bones cannot be crushed. See? Nothing to fear. I am Groot. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. You think Foom's in there? Fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. You can't remember the details because you didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. I think I see something up ahead! Look! My people were here! Didn't we see these in Drax's memories? When Mantis linked us all together? Yeah, could... That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken. Physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Fu? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle, a truly glorious death. They came here to find purpose, didn't they? To reach Ultath. Our talk on nowhere. They were paying attention. Of course. Many would have been traitors or criminals, truly bound for Sarduth. Some were diseased or dying. Coming all the way out here, wounded and taking on the meanest monsters in the galaxy? They got my respect. And soon we shall have theirs. Couldn't Foom have picked the warmer planet to call home? What? Is that cool? <laughs> okay, T. Got no right going after Fin Fang Boom. Well said, No! 
gonna be easy, Rocket. Right, right, but 10,000 times, Quill, Drax is the literal one, remember? Obviously, our chances of pulling this off suck. A lot. But what chance does the galaxy have if we don't pull it off? Exactly. We all saw what the Church is capable of. No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping till we catch Boom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. Could you, uh... Yep, I'm on it! <laughs> What's with all them rectangles? <gasps> Flark and Hala! Whoa, get a load of them claw marks. Okay, I'm thinking this is step one of a multi-step solution to get across this chasm. They've gotta be fooms, right? It's even bigger than his legend. So, yeah, uh... When we find him, let's avoid the claws. Incoming! So step two of your plan is crushing us all! I think I see what he's up to. Yeah, crushing us all! My sister used to paint places like this. Hell worlds? Frozen landscapes. You expect me to believe that Nebula, scourge of a hundred worlds, liked to paint pretty pictures? They weren't pretty. They were sad. You got this! Easily! Where shall I put it? Drax, buddy, can you toss it? Certainly. Where shall I move it? I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. Final step, Drax! If we can topple some of those rocks, we got ourselves... <laughs> I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? Drax, I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need this. Yeah, well, maybe if we'd listened to you from the start and just gone after Foom... Then we'd probably be dead. I'm pretty sure it sees us, whatever it is. Great. More foam food to deal with. Do not underestimate anything that survives the perils of this planet. Good advice. No, they don't look like the worms I used to have. I know I don't say this enough, but I really appreciate you guys. Well, the motivational speech mode. We really are desperate! Shouldn't it be too cold for worms on this planet? They've adopted! We need to do the same! Peter! Of you should think of this as a warm up for Finfine Foom! We don't have time for warm up! Reaper's Fun Foom can go off any continues. second! Okay, let's just think things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? 
What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual... Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Fu, it will be an honorable final act. Eh, I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. Well, let us hope we are not too late. All right, let's figure out a way to get through. We're in a rush, apparently. There, see? More ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not. But smart ones do. Thanos once told me about a planet he found ravaged by Fin Fang Foom. Bodies not just eaten, but scrambled. Flash across the landscape like some kind of twisted painting. Rork! Way too <laughs> close! They say that Fin Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would-be adversaries. Uh, Lady Hellbender legends all over again. Well played, Kakaranthara! Careful! That's deadly gas. How do you know? So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out! Cowardly. I want full credit for this. For the last time, Drax, we're not killing Fin Fang Foom. We're catching him to give the Lady Hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. Wait, 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 wait. Rocket, are you neck deep in water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold us up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me. Like we've got a destroyer on our team. We'll prove a little challenge. Instead of giving her boom, any chance Lady H might send her a few of these. Whatever they are. I think you know. Didn't think so. Incoming batch of beasts! Let's exterminate them! Lady Kakathians have perished upon these slopes! No time for us! Not today, anyway! That thing was too freaky to let live! Its pitiful existence has ended! It's <laughs> Groot? Loving the initiative! <laughs> So trajo to cloak. Ha 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 don't leave me hanging. Galmak, Galmak, Solta Flander Gal. Drax, give it a push. It will stand in our way no longer. <laughs> nice! Who won't know what hit him? You will be more resilient than a boulder, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? 
I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. Honestly, after everything we've been through. Oh, this place is crumbling all around us. Whoa! Barking, Maklu! Maklu 4, Peter Quill. It must be fair to the other Maklu's. Legendary teeth and claws of thin fine food. You know, I'm gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. <laughs> Assuming we live that long. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender, and we carve through the rest. Hey, uh... Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? Yeah, and other tangential topics. I'm fine. Ish. Okay. <sighs> Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No. I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. And we both know that I... We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. Galmark! Galmark! Sold our flounder guard. Foom! It's Foom! Yes! Keep going, keep going! Like you flarkin' rock! Yes! I am Groot. Yeah, Ominous is right! Pelmafin Sardut, Jud Kainago. Here goes! I don't like this! Ha ha! Alrighty! Oh, oh, yes. Kind of amazing. Also really terrifying. You seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? Oh, yeah. 
I like this one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Good thing that rock tried to murder us, or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often. That's not how it works. Melt that one, too! How did you know your guns would work back there? They've saved us three times already. And that one! I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys! What? What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Indeed. Almost. He's got you there. Ugh. Well, does it burn? It, it's so... gloopy. I can't... jump. It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spot in Traxia. I have not. Strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. At least it ain't quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Brute's practically naked. Brute don't get cold, but he's a big baby in the heat. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? Petey Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. It's not even a fireball. It's more like a heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. Nope. No. Raise that thing, group. I am Groot. Just about there. Trying to communicate. Please don't. Star Lord! See? <laughs> Star Lord! Is it just me or did he sound a little irritated? No, nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. is beautiful, in its own twisted way. The trees are indeed twisted, well observed. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. With all these exceptional beasts, it's a wonder Lady Hellbender does not move from home here. It's a little cold for Lady Skullsuit. Drax seems to be doing okay. The Cathians have adapted to survive long and harsh winters. 
and blistering brutal summers. <laughs> no, our summers are quite mild and pleasant. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> I, I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. says those guys deserve it. Keep it up. I'm actually starting to get warm. Another plant falls to Captain Heatglob. You think Golden Boy is getting bored it right now? Maybe try something else. Nice shot, Peter. I imagine Foom would sense our arrival and rush to face us. I am disappointed. Maybe he's hiding from us. Okay, you're just pulling weeds at this point. <laughs> nope, still not tired. Macklin 4 is beautiful, in its own twisted way. The trees are indeed twisted, well observed. Groot says the plants here are all mean or stupid. I think we've earned a vacation. Preferably on a normal planet where nothing's... Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another affair. Somebody 
Somebody's gonna get stabbed for this! Drop him, Gamora! Get him down, don't stand a chance! They're fast for something so big! Not fast enough! Now is the time to strike! Keep the herd coming! Okay, I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. When they go. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling when they go. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. I never truly believed this day would come. What? Freezing your nips off with a bunch of us? Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge.
My butt still hurts from that slide! That wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, uh, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. All right, Groot, give me a boost. About yay high. Yay is not a unit. Groot knows what he means. It's right. The smoke's coming from the other side, but we gotta clear the way. We can deal with that once all of us are up there. These snow beasts have whet my appetite. I am eager to slay the great food I fool. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. Fang Fu is a foe, unlike anything one could imagine. Look out below! Ha! That'll work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. I'm fine, just itchy. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. Any more hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Ooh, maybe it's a barbecue. What's barbecue? What? You guys have never had barbecue? Charbroiled burgers, grilled steaks, baby back ribs? Why would you consume the ribs of an infant? Told you Terrans were barbaric. No, it's not. Trust me, you guys have got to try it. Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Is all this foom? Undoubtedly. 